Hello and welcome to new session of NX10 Milling. We are in the second session of non-cutting moves. In earlier session I have dealt with engage in non-cutting moves. We will go to retract. So if you want to define the values of retract you go to non-cutting moves. Go to retract. Expand retract. You can see that we have two options here called one is called retract and the other one is final. So the difference between retract and final is in retract this is the tool movement between every cutting um, cutting line and in final there won't be any other cutting operation after the final retract so how are you going to define the final retract we have um, the tool movement is very similar to the engage we have all the options that we have seen in engage that are linear linear to relative cut or point the only dif uh, different thing apart from all the tool engagement type is only lift we have I'll be explaining lift in the coming slide apart from lift we have linear along vector angle angle plane vector plane and none we have already seen all this cutter movements and explained it in our previous session the only thing only new uh, what is new is lift and let's look what are the values you want to define for defining lift type of tool movement so in lift it asks only the height um, so at which point the cutter lifts whenever a cutting is over let's say the cutter enters at this point and finishes moves along this path and at the end of this point it lifts 50 percent of the tool or you can define the uh, the value as mm or percentage of tool so after uh, finishing the cutting line it just lift to certain z level and those z level we can mention here and the same uh, tool movement is used in final retract type also so I'm not going to explain each one again and again you can refer the engage session next we'll see start and drill points under start and drill points we have three parameters here one is overlap distance then second is region start points and third is pre drill points in overlap distance we will be defining the overlap length that, uh, that means we specify how far to overlap the end of a cut to blend with the start of the cut um, I will be explaining you in coming slide with the figure and you will get a clear cut picture about overlap distance next is region start points here we will be specifying the start points whether we have options like specifying in the by default we can specify mid or a corner or you can specify a particular point by a point by using different point selecting tools and or creating a new points etc in pre drill points let's say you have a job wherein you you have a pre drill hole and after that you are going to take it to the CNC machine and if you know those coordinates you can enter those coordinates a coordinate value here and the cutter will be precisely entering those uh, points this is mainly used to reduce the load while plunging we'll, we'll look at it one by one starting with overlap distance if you look at this, this picture can see that the cutter starts from here and it takes an arc during engage and it finishes a cut and there's a overlap distance from the start point uh, it travels this overlap distance and again take an arc out so those value we will enter here and based on that we will get an overlap length here the reason why we use this overlap is let's say you have a 
use same point for entry and exit and over a period of time let's see what uh, you have 10 passes in Z direction and you can see that there is a very small projection on that particular point um, which has to be manually rubbed off or uh, polished to remove those small very minute projection but if you use this overlap distance you can remove that you won't be having an entry or uh, exit mark on the job and this will give a good finish next is region start point under region start point we have by default a midpoint and a corner and if and if you would like to use any of these points you can up in default uh, drop down menu or if you want to specify a particular point you can use this uh, point locating options in NX cam and specify a point to define the uh, entry point once you defined or if you uh, selected a point and you want to make sure that this point is lying within our effective distance so we set an eff effective distance as percentage of tool diameter or a certain value a certain mm or inch and you define those effective distance and if the point is not lying on inside that effective distance uh, your software neglects it and it defines its own uh, a specifying point Uh, next is defining a predal points it is very similar to selecting uh, a point in region start points the only difference is uh, you know that there is a hole there and you are going to define that particular point and rest remains the same and if you if you uh, if you're not sure that if the predal is coming within the effective distance and you set the effective distance if those uh, uh, predal points is away from that effective distance it, the system won't consider that point to start with and it creates its own starting point I will show you all this in uh, UGNX